Well, hey everyone. Uh, this is Trelane. I'm. Uh, I've got a, a little something here. It's a multimedia spectacular. I'm going to be teaching you some stuff about Privateer, uh, and just uh, having a little fun as well. So the other day, in um, during the All Wings Considered, a couple things were brought up in the chat. Uh, one thing that I uh, thought of was, so in Privateer, um, one thing that happens that I didn't even realize this until recently, but uh, every time you land, there's a 50 credit fee. Um, I don't know if it's refueling or it's a landing surcharge or uh, who knows, but yeah, every time you land, uh, you get charged 50 credits. So I, I was wondering, what happens if you don't have the 50 credits? Um, like, do you, like, what happens? Do you not have, do you go negative? Do you not have, do you not get to land? Is it a game over? Um, I, I mean, none of those seem realistic, but I was just kind of curious. Uh, now, someone in the chat who was uh, Seth20Geo, uh, he said that it still lets you land, even with less than 50 credits. They're flexible with the fees, is what he said. Um, and not that I don't believe him, uh, and that seems completely reasonable. That's actually what I guessed would have been the answer, but, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to see with my own eyes what happens. And also, uh, Tarsus, Arugula Tarsus in the chat, also asked, does Privateer have a money limit? And uh, th these are very similar questions, actually, because they're both, uh, t you know, we can actually do both of these things by just seeing what happens. So uh, if you watch the stream, you probably saw that uh, Loaf had a credit counter going while he was playing. So we can actually use that to see what exactly happens in the game when we're playing. So let's do a little experimenting and see what goes on. Um, so I'm going to start by uh, doing a real brief uh, little e explanation on how uh, Privateer and just computers in general store numbers. Uh, so let's get going. Hopefully this isn't too dry, but, uh, I, you know, I want to teach you guys something. So let's go. Uh, so how does Privateer store credits? Um, so let's, let's explore this question. Uh, so, for example, we have 3,831 credits. Um, that's represented as decimal, which is very convenient, and it's readable for humans. This is a base 10 number system. Uh, it's not that convenient for computers, though. So what computers do, uh, with both credits and all information, they store in binary. Binary is uh, a base 2 number system. So rather than having 10 digits to pick from, 0 through 9, you only have 2. You have 0 and 1. Uh, so that series of zeros and ones, so each one of those uh, is called a bit, so right there is 16 bits, uh, and that is the binary represent representation of 3,831. Um, now that's not very convenient for people, so we use what's called hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is uh, base 16, uh, meaning you have up to 16 different uh, digits, so they go 0 through 9, and then A through F. And that basically lets you represent 15 different numbers with one character. Uh, it's just more, it's a more uh, convenient way of uh, exploring, uh, you know, showing binary data for a human who's looking at it. Rather than a bunch of zeros and ones, you can look at a single character. Uh, so each group of four bits can be shortened to one hexadecimal digit. And it follows that one byte, which is eight bits, can be shortened to two hexadecimal digits. So let's, uh, let's just see what that's like. So there's that previous sequence of bits uh, shortened uh, to 0EF7. That's uh, the hexadecimal representation. Now, Privateer, it gives you 32 bits, uh, which is four bytes of memory for your credits. So this is actually represented in memory as a whole bunch of more zeros. So you have, what do we have? We have uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 zeros, uh, and then we have that uh, three, what was it 3,837, 3, I think? Um, so there's a lot of wasted space there for only 3,000 credits. Uh, so how high can that go? What if all of them were one? That would be a lot. That would be a lot of credits. That would be 4,294,967,295 credits. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, so that's actually 2 to the 32nd power minus 1. Um, the reason it's minus 1 is because you have 0 at the beginning. So it's 2 to the 32nd minus 1. Um, so it's it, that's a lot of credits, right? Uh, but it's actually not quite that simple. Um, why? Why is it not that simple? Why can't we get 4 billion credits? 
Um, well, it, it gets a little tricky because uh, negative numbers. Um, so in privateer, you can't have negative numbers. So it doesn't really apply in this situation, but you know, in, in other instances with just general numbers, you might have a negative number. You might have, um, you know, a negative balance in a, in a bank account. You might have, uh, you might just be subtracting a number and that's a negative number. Uh, so we need a way of representing that. So in a computer, that byte of FF actually represents two different numbers, depending on whether it is a unsigned integer that means it's an integer, a number that cannot be negative. It has no sign at the beginning, so it's always positive. Uh, what that means, it can one byte can range from 0 to 255, which is 2 to the 8th power minus 1. A signed integer can be negative, uh, but the catch is it has a smaller maximum value. Uh, so the way we do negative numbers is we use one of those bits to represent whether it's negative or not. If it's set to one, then it's a negative number. If it's set to zero, it's a positive number. Um, but because we have one less bit to actually store the number information in, it's a smaller uh, range. So it what that one byte can range from negative 128 to 127. So it has a hot, it has a smaller maximum value. Um, so in in binary, you have zero and then ones, and that represents 127. That's uh, two to the uh, eighth power minus one. And as long as, I'm sorry, two to the seventh power minus one. As long as the first bit is zero, it's a positive number. So what happens if we add one to that? In that case, it would turn into one, zero, 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 zero. And now that that first bit is one, it's suddenly negative because that's what that first bit represents. So if you add one to it, you get negative 128, which can be super inconvenient if you don't know what you're doing because uh, you'll add a number to a very large number and then you suddenly have a very, very small number in the negative range. So that goes back to private here. How high do the credits go? Uh, well, you'd think it would be an unsigned integer because in privateer, there's no way to have a negative amount of credits. You can't go into the negative. It just isn't possible. Uh, but for some reason, the developers uh, back in the 90s at Origin, they decided to represent credits as a signed integer. So what that means is the amount of credits you can have go from negative 2,147,483,648 which is negative two to the 31st power, all the way up to 2,147,483,647, which is two to the 31st power minus one. That's still a lot of credits. I mean, I, I, I've never cracked a million in privateer, so I'm sure there are people who have, but that, that takes a lot of work to get that many credits. So if you were to go into the billions, that you, that's, that's a lot of credits and a lot of wasted time. But let's prove it. Let's let's actually see how this happens. Uh, so I'm going to fire up Privateer right now. Uh, here we go. We got Privateer running. Uh, we have the credit counter going, and uh, let's uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, hold on. Just going to throw a little music on in the background. So here we are. We're in Privateer. We have 3,581 credits. Let's let's just visit the Commodity Exchange real quick. So right now I have one robot servant in my inventory, so I'll keep that around because I want to sell that later. But let's start here. First of all, let's ask the question, what happens when you don't have the 50 credits to land? Because that, that's an easy one. So what I'm going to do, I added a new feature to my, uh, my credit counter here. So I'm going to set my credits. Let's... Uh, you know, actually, no, let's let's do a little uh, proof here first, because I personally didn't even know that you had this 50 credit fee until recently. So let's start here and uh, let's go. Let's uh, so we have 3581. So if there's a 50 credit fee, it should better clear out. It should drop Probably by 50 improved. credits when we land. So let's just turn right back. Oh, there's new Detroit. Let's land. Now entering an automatic landing. So we get here on the surface and watch the credits, 3581, and hey, it just dropped. We just lost 50 credits. Interesting. But now, what if we don't have 50 credits? What happens? So let's, uh, let's set our credits to a lower level. 
let's set it to, let's say we have 25. What if you only have 25 credits? What happens then? So let's, uh, let's just prove that that worked. We'll go into our computer and see we only have 25 credits. So we, we did successfully change. Let's just take off and land. Let's see what happens. So we're here. In Welcome space. to the happy hunting grounds. Another bounty hunter. Interesting. Uh, let's let's land. Let's watch what happens. Now entering an automatic landing. So watch the credits. We have 25. You hit the surface, and we have nothing now. They take all of your money. Even if you you can't even afford the fee, they're like, we'll take whatever you have. Tough luck, pal. Um, so they'll basically take up to 20, up to 50 credits. If you don't have 50 credits, they will take whatever you have. And but let's see what happens with zero. Unfortunately, it's it's not that interesting. <laughs> I've already tested this. Um, but you land, and uh, let's see what happens. Now entering an automatic landing zone. And nothing happens, unfortunately. Zero credits, you stay at zero credits. Alright, so let's explore the other question. What is the maximum amount of credits that you can have? So right now, we have zero. We have zero credits. That's... That's no good. We can't do a whole lot with zero credits. Um, but let's let's manipulate that because I'm very smart and I made a way to cheat in this game. So we are going to uh, we are going to set our credits to a very high number. <laughs> we are going to set it to that maximum uh, value for a a, a signed 32-bit integer. So that probably don't remember and I also don't remember so I have it here in front of me is 2,147,483,647 credits all right we hit okay <laughs> oh look at that you got a lot of money now uh, let's uh let's just confirm let's see what happens we have uh going here and look at that 640 that's the 647 483,000 147 million and then the 2 billion so uh, we made it up that high uh, we got a lot of money now let's see what happens let's uh let's go to the commodity exchange because remember so look at that we got a lot a lot of credits it it does fit on the screen uh, they actually do, do manage to fit all 10 numbers there um, but what if we sell this because remember we're at the maximum right now so what if I sell something and we go over that maximum? So in game, in game, something happened here. So the the game says we have two billion one forty seven million four eighty three thousand one fifty two. Um, so it sees, it sees the negative number, but it actually it just doesn't put the negative number there. Um, so. Do we have negative credits? Is that really what happened? Because it uh, it didn't look like it, right? But let's look at the computer. Let's look in here. So they did, they actually did put the negative in in this screen. So I don't maybe at some point they had planned it, of of having a way for you to have negative credits. Not really sure, but uh, so we do have negative money right now. We have a lot of negative money actually. Uh, we're more than two billion credits in the hole, and that's tricky um, because now, now that we've overflowed and we're at that maximum negative range, we can't buy anything. Like we can't buy anything because it it's seeing that we have a very, 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 very small amount of money, and it's just saying no, you don't have enough. That's that's not enough. Um, so really, if we weren't cheating, the only way to get ourselves out of this situation is to start earning money, a lot of money, and get back into the, the positive. Uh, so it's definitely not recommended that you overflow into the negative. Um, and we can, we can adjust it, we can go back, and we can reset our credits to a more reasonable amount, let's say like 100,000. But yeah, as soon as uh, as soon as you go over that limit, you are in the hole by a lot, and you're probably never getting out. Yeah, so that just wanted to share that with you guys, uh, learn something a little new, and do a little proof of how computers work. Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.